When the Mexican government puts its mind to something, it gets it done. Remember the Alamo? When they come, they come hard. And by the way they responded to this, it was looking like Felix's problem was DEA's opportunity. Within 24 hours of Rafa waving a gun in the minister's face, they put up roadblocks everywhere and sent their big game hunter from Mexico City. This was the man the locals called the Elliot Ness of Mexico. Su Comandante Guillermo Gonzalez Calderoni. Rafael Caro Quintero. Nuestro objetivo. Asociado a varios de los sinaloenses que se han reubicado en esta zona. Caballeros, lo voy a dejar muy claro. Caro va a caer. Esto viene desde arriba. Hemos colocado un perímetro alrededor de la ciudad. Los capitanes tienen sus órdenes. Ahora levántense a chingarle. Comandante, somos de la DA en Guadalajara. Queremos ofrecerle nuestro apoyo. I swear it, fellas, I speak real good English. Oh, we have information on Rafa. Well, my local officers are familiar with Mr. Caro Quintero. All due respect, Comandante, the only contact your men have with them is when they're pretending to seize his weed. Which will not be helpful with Mexico City written down your neck for him. Sir, we've been following him for a while. Him, his associates, his residences, even the big, ugly 4x4 that he rolls around town in. Get your gear. We have in 20. Let's go. Guess everybody wants justice now, huh? What are you, some fucking pocho cop? Can't believe that shit works here? I thought I knew. So I got down here and saw how fucked up it is. You know me, I'm his pocho, eh? <laughs> Things are more complicated than you think. But if you know how to play it, you can still do good work. It sounds like a bunch of excuses. Do you know why we call a bribe una mordida, Agent Camarena? Because they want to take a bite? Because everybody's got to eat. 